Tell me what's new in the Flex Fabric for Gen 8. Prior to 370, if you want to connect to a fiber channel storage using Flex Fabric, you would need a SAN fabric in between the SAN storage and the Flex Fabric. So for example, the wire coming out of this fiber channel port will go to a Flex Fabric, uh, SAN fabric, and from there it will go to a uh, fiber channel storage. With the direct attach, what we have done is we are trying to make the network more flatter. That is, you can pull the wire directly from the fiber channel port of the flex fabric to the three power fiber channel storage device. This is new for Gen 8 for flex fabric, but it is also backward compatible? That's correct. So, you know, Gen 8 will support the flex fabric adapters, and Gen 7 does already have a flex fabric adapter, so it will work with Gen 7 as well as Gen 8 blades. All right, so we're over here in front of a direct attached system with uh, three par storage. And what is it about this that, that makes it uh, better than the previous generation? So, Jake, as I mentioned, uh, as I showed you, the fiber channel uh, ports on the flex fabric. And as you can see, the solution here is about three par storage, which has pretty much can scale up to 192 ports. And there are two wires going right there behind you which go from the flex fabric fiber channel interface. And as I mentioned, the savings can be from 1 million to 4 million by in terms of the sand fabric. Said that, the other benefits you can have with the direct attach solution is, based on your subscription, it can be 4 is to 1 or 8 is to 1 or 16 is to 1 on the downlinks to the uplinks on the fiber channel ports. Uh, you can scale the solution. So let me take 8 is to 1 uh, subscription because that is the standard pretty much in the industry. So if you take 8 is to 1, that means you know, you're having two uplinks connecting from the flex fabric to the three-part storage. And uh, three-part storage, for example, the higher storage can support 192 host ports. What you can do, that means is you can have 48 enclosures from the C-class blade system connecting to uh, sharing uh, uh, three-part uh, fiber channel storage. If you see, in terms of uh, competitive product, is similar uh, with the storage and the server and the compute. You have, uh, with the direct attach, you are getting 2.5 faster provisioning. You are getting 86% fewer components. What I mean is less in terms of power, less in terms of the cost, and it will reduce the latency by 55%. You talked about cost, I mean, cost savings being one of the components of this. What are, the, what are the areas where you save cost? Obviously, if you don't have sand fabric, uh, you're spending less money on the sand fabri fabric. Um, you mentioned energy savings. What kind, of, what kind of energy savings are you getting as a result of that? Excellent question, again, very good question. So for example, right, when you're having a flex fabric, what you already have is by default, uh, HBA, which is part of the flex fabric adapter, A. B, as you have the connection directly going from the flex fabric adapter to the flex fabric module, which will connect, uh, you don't have to have the wire options. On the top, if you are using a director class switch, they're also spending a lot of amount in terms of cables, in terms of options, in terms of switches, that translate to the parts, that translate to the power.